Hello my YouTube fam, happy Sunday, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Felicia and every Sunday I'll be bringing you a new video about filmmaking, tech and gear. So if that is something you're into, consider subscribing. Today we're going to be doing a short review on the Benro BV10. That's right, we're not doing a review on a camera, a lens or a drone, we're doing it on a tripod. And I mean, tripods are really hard to find for a good price with good quality, so this one kind of fits the bill. I've had the Benro BV10 for about a year and a half, two years, and it has been a fantastic asset to my kit. The tripod itself is a 100mm bowl and it's got two stage aluminium legs. The whole rig itself weighs 7.28 kilos, but it carries a max payload of 10 kilos. All of this for the price of 1,500 Australian dollars or under. That's, that's really good. To show you how good it is against others in the marketplace of a similar build, let's show a comparison between two other brands. I'll start at the higher end of the spectrum when looking at the Sackler FSB 10. This tripod has a payload of four to 12 kilos, it also has a 100mm bowl, but the cost of it is upwards of $3,500. That's a lot. And the mid-range, you'd be looking at the Manfrotto 509 HD head. This can also come with two-stage aluminium legs. Including the aluminium legs, that whole setup will cost you just over $1,500. It also has a 100mm bowl, but it carries 13.5 kilos as a max payload. So yeah, I mean, you do get what you pay for. But in terms of price versus quality, the Benro BV10 is in a class of its own, with cost way down and quality that I can very easily compare and stand up to against Sackler and Manfrotto. And Sackler being $3,500 compared to this, which is $1,500 or less. So that puts the Benro BV10 in a really good standing in the marketplace. And in terms of competition, it definitely stands out. Let's talk a little bit about the build quality. This tripod does not feel plasticky at all, despite that very low price tag. The aluminium legs are incredibly strong. I don't feel like I'm worried at all when I'm putting heavy loads on there, as long as they're 10 kilos or under. Some legs like in the Manfrotto range are a clip base leg. These ones are actually twist and the twist locks, I feel like they're a little bit more robust than those clip locks. I feel like they don't slip as often or come loose. When I did have the Manfrotto 509 and aluminium legs, I found those legs came loose maybe four or five times in the whole life that I had them. They did have minimal use as well, which is what shocked me, because the price of it, I didn't expect that sort of thing to happen. But with this Benro, I haven't found anything like that. Every single screw has maintained its quality over the year and a half or two years that I've had it. And I've used it a lot more frequently than I did the Manfrotto. One design flaw that I have found with the twist locks for the legs is that they do interfere with the rubber tab that holds the feet on. This is a minor design flaw, but it can get really annoying at times because those tabs are so low, it's hard to fiddle around with that rubber tab to move it out of the way so that you can tighten off the leg. The Benro BV10 also has a mid-height spreader, which spreads out to a decent angle and is super easy to use. No more accidental unthreading or turning the wrong way like on the Manfrotto versions. Now onwards to the tripod head itself. Now this tripod head is really exceptional in quality. I am thoroughly impressed at this price point that this head is so smooth. It is like silk. And those adjustments between fluid motion, it just, it changes almost immediately. And you really can tell that a lot of effort has been put into making this head an exceptional piece. The counterbalance options on there are also superb. I've seen people balancing minis on here with quite large lenses. So it does stand up there in terms of carrying weight and counterbalance. The base plate is actually a Manfrotto standard, so you can interchange it with other accessories. I find that it matches some of my accessories for my handheld rig, so I can just slide off my handheld rig and straight onto the tripod. Very handy. It has the locking function, so you don't have to be worried if your camera is gonna slide off, it's locked there. The one thing that I will note about the base plate is that the groove in the screw head is rounded, almost like it's useful for a coin, but not a regular screwdriver. This is good, I guess, if you're using a coin, 
but I'm often not using a coin. I'm using a proper screwdriver. I'm using my Leatherman on that every time I use it. And because it doesn't fit quite right in that rounded surface, it can slip very easily and it chews up the head of the screw. This can be fixed quite easily though, so it's not a major design flaw. I wouldn't count this as a reason not to get the tripod. You can buy replacement screws that have a different head to them. So would I recommend this tripod? Absolutely yes I would. It is such a good tripod, especially for that price point. If you're looking for the most quality you can get out of the least money spent, the Benro BV10 is definitely for you. I would highly recommend having a look into this option if you have a rig that is 10 kilos or under. So thank you so much for watching this short review today. If you're in the market for a new tripod and maybe you wanna know a little bit more about the Benro BV10, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts about the video if maybe you've got a BV10 and you want to express your own thoughts or maybe you feel like I've missed something. I would love to hear from you. I love communicating with my audience, so leave a comment down there. Anyway, thank you so much again for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to give it a big fat thumbs up and if you would like to see more of my face and maybe learn a little bit more about filmmaking in the process, Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next Sunday.